Ursula Sirigen. I'm one of the co-founders of Pizza and Co. Hi, I'm Ilana Longkamar. I'm one of the co-owners of Pizza and Company. Uh, hi, my name is Linson. Um, I'm one of the proprietors or partners of Pizza and Co. Um, yeah, full-time mother <laughs> uh, and also a business uh, owner. <laughs> Well, uh, as we all like to eat good food and I always wanted to eat, try new things and pizza was one of the favorite things to eat. So we always want to try new, new authentic pizzas. So that is what gave us the idea to start Pizza & Co. Uh, so Pizza & Co, I feel it is everything just fell into place, you know, on its own and when the time was right. Uh, I was staying in Bangalore as a full-time mother. Uh, my sister was here in Nagla and she was also looking for an opportunity to do something here and then my friend also, she was also looking to do something back at home in Nagla. So and then since my husband was already into this F&B industry, he came up for, with a few suggestions and then we zeroed in on doing pizza since Nagla, no, Dimapur didn't have a, like an authentic Italian pizzas where you do thin crust pizzas. So yeah, that's that's where we finalized on this idea and then got our training done in Bangalore and then that's how we this place came about. So you wanted a name that obviously represented what we are serving, right? Like it's a simple, like if you read Pizza and Company, it has pizza already, so you know that they serve pizzas. Uh, we wanted a universal name that would stand out also. So that's how Pizza and Company came about and the logo came about, right? So, yeah. Yes, like that's, a, that's usually a pan that we serve pizza in. So that was why the logo was chosen too. Uh, you had to understand the market that we were coming into. Uh, we do understand that a lot of people in Nagran don't explore a lot of different cuisines, but then the good part was that we had a lot of people coming in back to Nagaland and after staying outside Nagaland. So we were hopeful that the people who came from outside would also enjoy the cuisine, like a pizza being available here. So that was one of our things that we were looking at. We obviously looked at, you know, the availability of raw materials, the kind of infrastructure we wanted. And those are one of the factors that we, looked into, we took into consideration. There's so many things we have to take in consideration, not only financially, but to see the market, how people would respond to this kind of food. You know, they are because the majority of the people are not used to this kind of food. They are more into rice, chow, and everything. But this was a new thing. Of course, the others these places are there, but we wanted to try something new, something authentic, something different, and we had to uh, look at the market, what the kids want. No younger generation would want so. Challenges. There were some challenges, but of course it's a, uh, it's like um, you are learning every day new things. No, we are learning the market. We don't know how people will react, and uh, people have been very good to us in that way. Like we have been like, like a family. They will come. We have some regular customers also. They will give their feedback. They will tell us. This was not right today. Why don't you try something new? Why don't you try this also? We have done that and we are very thankful for those people who have been helping us. And uh, yeah, challenges are there in terms of uh, marketing because these, these people have, uh, they, they tend to get bored very easily, you know. So we have to keep them updated about things. We have to update our menu also and uh, according to the taste of all the different age groups of people. We are sourcing things locally, right? Uh, we make the pizza base by ourselves. The dough is done by in-house. So uh, those were, so other than that, we have the, the other products are available in Dimapur. We, the idea of getting something from outside made a lot of sense initially, but it wasn't practical. So when, you know, we came up to a decision of costing and all of those factors, we decided that we should make best use of what is available here instead of trying to get things that are not available and harder to find. I'm a, more of a silent partner in the pizza and company uh, because I work a full-time job also. Uh, but I wanted to definitely invest in something which was in Nagaland because Nagaland is home for me. 
So um, the difficulties that were there, which would be like what Vin and Abhin would have mentioned, but the difficulties are like to make people aware of what good quality pizza is, right? Because uh, contrary to what the news and the fast food industry has of pizza, we wanted to give wholesome meals, and that was a thing that we had as a challenge. I think. You know, that shift from you know fast food to gourmet pizza is perfect. So it is difficult being a full-time um, employee and having a being an entrepreneur, right? It's juggling two roles. But I'm very grateful that I have two strong partners who have understood and are very, you know, accepting of the challenges that I've also faced. So um, that's a big thing. That's very important. I believe that you have to have very good partners, and uh, I'm blessed with having like really two strong women who understand the though I'm might not have like a full-time role here, they understand the role that, you know, the time and effort that I can invest into this business. Yes, it's definitely a challenge running a business, uh, being a full-time mom, especially to a toddler or any age or any uh, age group of child that you have, it's definitely a challenge. I mean, yes, of course it is, it does get easier once you get used to the uh, business, once you get the hang of things. It does get easier, but yeah, life throws you new challenges every day, new problems, issues. But yeah, as you go, you learn, you evolve, and you learn to manage with what you have. So yes, it's been a big learning lesson curve for me. It's been a big lesson for me as a mother, as a new entrepreneur. <laughs> So we opened in uh, November 15, 2021 after the lockdown and uh, it was, uh, it's been good, there has been good response from everyone, especially family and friends. Initially it's mostly family and friends who come help, uh, talk about us, and bring people over and you know, then from that we started getting more customers, regular customers and we have uh, we are in all these online platforms also, in the online food uh, delivery apps also. So there have been a good response from there also. Okay, so yeah, there is, it's quite exciting to see that people are willing to go out, step out of their house and try out uh, new, play, new places. I mean, I think one of the biggest issues was people were not used to coming out of their homes and going out and eating food, like uh, going to a restaurant. So uh, initially, I guess it was very, the, the food options or cuisines were very limited, but now as people are going out more, going out of uh, Nagaland, exploring places, getting exposed to new food, new cultures, so it's, it, it, it is a very exciting time, definitely very promising for new entrepreneurs or people who want to get into this new food. I mean, food business, it is a very, I would say it was a very good time to set something up. Um, I would definitely encourage people to go out more, try out new cuisines. It doesn't, I mean, of course, we love our Naga food. I personally love, <laughs> love Naga food, our pork, of course. But yeah, to have options is always, it was always nice accessibility to different food, different cuisines, definitely. It is nice to see so many you know, food places, not only restaurants but those uh, food trucks and everything. It is very exciting. As a person who loves to eat and we try to experience new new things, it is very exciting. Yeah, uh, for them, I would like to say, please go ahead. And there are so many people who want to try new things but they don't get to do a taste it here, and, and, and all of us cannot go outside to taste new things. You know? So it's a great time you can to open new restaurants. Not only um, only one type of food, but different cuisines from different countries, so that the Naga people us we can uh, try new things. You no, know? and there's there's so much good things. There's so much food. Then I don't know what other people, but food really brings joy to me. So. It's uh, it's a good time, and I would encourage all of you to get into this. You know, it can most of us can open a big place, small place, or from home also. It's a good thing. You should. I would encourage them, especially women. Women can do very good at multitasking. You no, know? so even if 
you don't get a chance to open a big shop you can do it from home or you can you know pick part time things like catering and all i would really encourage all of you to do it because this is very satisfying so for the people who want to open a business um the people who want who are working full time and want to open a business i feel um it's very important i'm i know i'm just saying this over and over again but i think good partners are very important right understanding the market is important uh, we've started with a pizza but we also introduced multiple different items into our menu right uh, like now we're reinventing we always reinventing ourselves uh, the conversation is always there on how to make ourselves better and not to settle for just like you know we're doing okay and just settle for that that is not something that we want to do so we are reinventing our menu for summer also so we're going to have a new summer menu and uh, i feel that is important and it's going to be a little tough to balance the two but if you do put an effort i think that is possible it's not impossible so uh being a mother setting up uh, i mean we have a, we already are super women <laughs> i'm sorry uh you know you you make you make a human being and then you bring the human being into this world and you you nurture it and you bring up the child make it into a human human being a person to take part in society so you already are a superhuman <laughs> so i would say don't get discouraged by uh, society don't get discouraged by what people say if you have the passion if you have the want to do it i would say just just go for it you will find the strength to endure and then just keep fighting keep uh, yeah <laughs> just keep fighting keep learning keep keep going don't give up that is that is what i would uh, tell new mothers or mothers who would want to set up new businesses Must try pizzas from Pizza and Co. From our menu, I would say definitely the smoked pork pizza, which is uh, in, made by you know our traditional method of smoking pork, and then you cook it, and then yeah, we turn it into a pizza. So please give it a try. It's definitely a must try. And then um, you can try up if for people who like it spicy, spicy food, we can, you can go for uh, the peri peri chicken, and then we have the. Meat extravaganza, which, as the name suggests, has pretty much everything <laughs> on it. So yeah, give that a try. And then, of course, we for uh, in the coming months we are trying to we are planning to launch some uh, new menu. So please look forward to that as well. Uh, first one, pizza and go, and uh, Domino's and. people who are like milos who are doing from home and all this i really encourage people who are doing business from home and i it's not only that it's really good also i taste it so many times so yeah uh, the, i'll i'll tell you top two places that i really like in agland so far i really like the pizza and, pizza from pizza and company and i really like uh, the food at mokta especially uh, the budhi chige is really nice there um, so 